Hello, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to look at creating a helix. And the reason we're going to do that is I had to create one this week and realized I've never done a video on a helix, I don't think. So first things first, let me tell you what version of ReCAD I'm using. As you can see, it's version 1.0.1, .1, which as far as I know is the latest download, uh, latest released download version. So what we're going to do, first thing is we're going to create a new file and then we're going to create a part and we are going to create a body. Now we're going to create a sketch and that sketch is going to be on the XZ plane for no other reason than we can. It doesn't really matter. And now the way Helix works is it basically takes a shape and runs it around the Helix that you define in the Helix dialog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create something here and I'm just going to create a shape and I want to run that shape around the Helix. Now I'm going to just go ahead and dimension it so you can see roughly what we're up against here. I'm going to make that 20 and I'm going to make this one 5. So that's my shape, that's the shape of the helix, and then I'm going to close that. And so it's the profile of the helix, not the helix itself. So here's how we create a helix. It's the additive helix that we're going to create. Now if we were trying to cut the helix out, we'd use the subtractive helix. But for this video, we're just going to do the additive helix. So I'm going to click that. And there is my helix. And the way that you set up the helix is you can tell it what angle you want of the helix, what pitch you want of the helix. And so here I can say pitch, height, and angle. I can choose different parameters. So I can say pitch turns an angle, or the height turns an angle, or the height turns and growth. But I'm going to use the pitch, height, and angle. And then I'm going to call my height here. I'm going to call my height 100 millimeters. And one thing when you hit the enter key, it closes that dialog. So I'm going to right click here and say edit the helix. Because I haven't finished yet. I'm going to make my pitch 25.4 millimeters. I'm going to just use the tab key to move to the next one. Now, 25.4, for those of you who are familiar with inches to millimeter conversion, 25.4 millimeters is one inch. So I have a one inch pitch and I have it 100 millimeters tall. And now I'm going to create an angle. And if watch what happens when I create the angle. So I'm going to say I want that angle to be maybe 10 degrees, something like that. That's a little slow to respond so I'm going to redo that 10 degrees okay so now I have a 10 degree angle what that means is from where I started I'm going up this edge 10 degrees and I'm going over a height of a hundred millimeters and I'm starting with this profile the shape the cross section of my helix I'm going to run it around here at a pitch of 25.4 millimeters until it gets to 100 millimeters tall. So that is how you create a helix. So if you wanted to create a helix that was taller, you would just change the height. If you want the pitch to be bigger, you just change the pitch. If you want the profile to be different, you can change the profile. I can go back in here into my sketch and I can change this profile any way that I want. So for instance, if I wanted to chamfer this corner and then I close that now my profile you can see has a beautiful chamfer on it and simply that's how you do a helix if you have any questions feel free to leave them below and if you have any comments do the same if you haven't already done so subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. I did this helix purely because I had to create one 
uh, in a model that I was making and realized that I hadn't done much with heat with a helix on a video. So that's why this particular video is covering this. Next video I think I'm going to do will be um, a sub object shape binder. And so I want to do that and show you how to use those shape binders because those are those are kind of fun too. So we'll do that in the next video. Again, if there's something else you'd rather see, just let me know. I'm more than happy to do it. If you want to buy us a coffee, you can go to coffee.com. If you want to become a patron, you can join us on Patreon. All the links are below, or you might be able to see them right here. Thanks for watching, and I'll look forward to making the next video.